I'm here with head coach Rob Walker of men's soccer. Rob, how do you prepare for the upcoming year? You know, how did spring and summer, you know, how do you prepare the guys to hit the ground running in the first week? The first thing to consider is that we had really small turnover between the guys we had here in the spring and our roster this fall. So because we carried over so many guys, it was an extremely small recruit class. So typically in the spring, you know, you're waiting for that freshman class to come in in the fall and then get things solidified. We did a lot of our preseason work last year in our spring season. Uh, so we implemented a plan to put in several different systems last spring, which we've carried over to this fall. Um, we've got some roles and some flexibility with guys that, uh, you know, we think we want to play in a couple different positions. And that started in the spring and we've carried over that to the fall. So this is a, a, a year is kind of an anomaly for us, really, in, in terms of how our preparation's gone and in terms of putting together the old and the new. And you've had your first week of practices. You have to hit the ground running. You know, what's that been like, you know, especially, like you said, bringing back a lot of the same guys? Has you know, that team chemistry kind of helped speed up the process? Well, team chemistry is always important. It's, it's, it's important from the beginning of preseason throughout the year. You know, when we're lifting weights at 6 in the morning in February, it's important. It's important in the spring. Uh, the, but the thing we all have to recognize with our sport in preseason is, is that it's going to reduce players to jello in a fairly short amount of time because the physical load and the mental demands are really high. We Unfortunately, we don't have enough time in our preseason to spread things out and to ensure that there's not only physical preparation and mental preparation, cognitive preparation, tactical preparation, uh, all has to come in a, in a hurry and that's probably our biggest obstacle. So preseason is an important time for us. Um, the rubber really meets the road though when we start playing games and then we have to measure how successful we've been with that. But right now we're all pretty tired and uh, uh, there's quite a bit of fatigue we're fighting through. So. Um, We'll have to, you know, get ourselves rested a little bit, and then we'll see where we're at. Well, you get to bring into this year the leading goal scorer from last year, and Brandon Matson. You get the assist leader and Sebastian Navarro, and you also get a senior at goalkeeper and Griffin Small. How important is it to have those cornerstones going into this year? Well, since we're an NCAA institution, I can't really talk about gambling, but uh, I can equate it to uh, playing goal fish and having a ton of good cards in my hand to start with. Um, you know, having the ability to have a player, you know, be a strong individual in the scoring column is important. Um, Sebastian last year in, in playing a def as a defensive midfielder was key. And actually scored some goals, not just in the run of play, or and goals and assists in the run of play, but also he was key on our free kicks. So, uh, free kicks, set pieces, et cetera, I guess I should say. So. Um, those are two really good pair uh, to draw to as we go forward. Uh, Griffin Smalls look good in goal. Um, our, we've got uh, some guys playing in the back that um, I just really think are going to be good and steady. So I think we've, we've overcome some of the issues that we had last year and how we gave up goals. And uh, if we can just uh, you know, take care of that and then get some production out of the guys that have produced before, I think we've got a good hand. And you have a typical Rob Walker schedule. You play the toughest teams, not only in the region, but in the entire country right off the bat. How important is it to you know play against those kind of teams, stack up where you are, and, and get ready for a very tough GNAC schedule? Well, I, I, and this is with, all, with respect to the teams that we're playing in our exhibition season. In, in their own right, in their own division, they're all top teams. Uh, the community college, Tacoma, that we're playing, Tacoma Community College, has some great young freshman players that played on an elite uh, national level last year um, and the year before and the year before. So they're going to be a good first test for us. Uh, Pacific Lutheran is a top Division III uh, power in the Northwest and has just returned from England. Uh, and Northwest University will be an NAI uh, national contender. So our exhibition season, um, you know, really uh, is meant to stress us. Uh, typically, we, we do pretty well against those teams. So, uh, you know, we want to represent ourselves and then take another step and in, in playing, you know, some teams that were regionally and nationally ranked last year. And to, to be honest with you, I, I was a student here at St. Martin's and I was never brought in to, into a classroom where I did something substandard and something lower than my ability level. And I was always challenged, always stressed. 
and that's exactly what our schedule does. It, it has to bring out our very best performances. And um, there's a, a value in going on the road in, the, in our non-conference schedule uh, versus what we're going to see in the GNAC when we have to go on the road and play in some, get some great teams and, you know, tough environments because they're so good at home uh, in our conference. So um, I, I think it's, it's, it, we're, it's a perfect pairing for me. I wouldn't want it any other way. Well, I know I speak for everybody. It's been a long summer. We're all anxious to see the Saints back out there on the soccer field. Thanks for stopping by, Coach. Thank you.